Today at the Rangiora Vet Centre, we meet Layla the Labrador puppy, who is about to get a microchip. Here you go, Good girl. Yeah. Right, so this is Layla. Layla's a 12 week old Labrador puppy. She's in for some vaccinations, and we're also going to microchip her today. Um, so, the importance of microchipping is you know, that you can trace your pet back to you if they get lost. Um, also, if they, if they kind of go walk about and they get brought back into a, a vet clinic or the council, they've got a special scanner um, that you can run over their back and it will beep and a number will pop up um, that's individual to the animal um, if they are found. The microchip itself is about the size of a grain of rice um, and it just sits under the skin. Sometimes it can move around a little bit, so when you see us scan them, we might do this with the scanner, um, but it stays with them for life. So the microchip itself, We'll do this first. And lately, the newer microchips, the needles are actually a lot smaller. So this is the, the needle here. And so it gets implanted under her skin. So we'll go ahead and give that to her. Good girl. Didn't even notice. What a good girl. And then we'll scan it. There it is, so the number pops up on the scanner and that's Layla's number. So the biggest things about microchipping are um, if a dog nowadays, I think in the last few years it's become law um, that they have to have microchips. So if they do go walk about and they don't have a microchip, you can get pinged with a pretty hefty fine from the councils. And as well with cats, you know, not just dogs, but cats need them as well, and I think even more so. Do you have any cats? Uh, you, yeah, yeah, you do. Are yeah. they microchip? Uh, no, they're actually not. Yeah. They're old cats. Yeah, right. They haven't done it. Right. Um, especially with cats, and, and a good example was the Christchurch earthquakes. Um, we had a lot of cats that went and walk about with the shakes happening, and they were freaked out, and they didn't know what to do with themselves. And they got brought into vet clinics and shelters, and the ones with microchips could be traced yeah. back immediately, yeah. and, and the ones that didn't, you know, sometimes... Um, yeah, they, they met lesser fates. But we have the owner fill out their details, and then we also have an emergency contact, so if the owner's not um, around, we have someone else we can ring as well. And then I have you just sign and date the bottom. So this is all filled out. So today is 14th of the 8th, 2014. And with this, you also get a little tag that says, hey, a microchip oh, scanned okay. me. Yep. Um, so that way, yeah, so people know that Layla's microchip. Oh, you got to eat the pen. and her number on it. So that's Miss Layla's microchip number. So Layla's also here for some vaccinations. So first vaccinations for puppies include distemper, hepatitis, and parvo, and kennel cough as well. So we're gonna give Layla her vaccination. So she gets one injection and she gets one little squirt in the nose is done, honey. You know, worming in puppies is very important because it's the very young and the very old that are susceptible to worm burdens. Um, and it's both for if there's livestock around, so if you've got sheep around, they can pass on worms, and also to children. So it's a public health risk. So with puppies of Layla's age, so she's almost 12 weeks, yeah. isn't she? Um, you can worm her once a month, yeah. and then when she gets to be a year of age, you worm her every three months. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap her meat, her, her wormy tablet, in a little bit of a meatball today to make it tasty Whoa. so she won't even know it look at this oh boy you want to eat it good girl and that's your worming tablet all done <laughs> join us next time when we meet jake as he weighs in and we talk animal weight loss